Okay, guys, so here's what we're going to do today. We're starting with the, uh, the passage we worked on last week, and we're going to finish the translation, and then I'm going to give you the grammar. And then you're going to use all of these notes, everything we have here, that if you've done it right, you're going to have no problem with it. The verbs, the translation, and the grammar I'm going to give you today. Um, all that's going together. And the grammar will be down here at the bottom, below our drawings and everything. You put it wherever it is, wherever you want to put it. Um, and the important thing is going to be this. On uh, Friday, you're going to have a test based on all of this. So I'm going to give you a kind of a comprehensive test. It'll be online. Um, and you can uh, use your notes for it and um, try to... Um, uh, like, I don't know if you want to uh, print these up however you want to do it. Um, but I'm going to give you these, this and uh, today, and we'll go on. Okay, so what we did last week. We went over our translation together, and we had this translation. Meanwhile, from Lake Amanus, which flows into the Rhone River, to the Ura Mountains, which divides the borders of the Sequani from the Helvetii. For 19 miles, he produced a wall in a trench 16 feet in height. With the work having been completed... He positions garrisons. He fortifies the fortresses so that he may be able to prohibit those trying to cross or to go across. When the day came, which he had established with the ambassadors, and the ambassadors returned to him, and we left it right here. He denies, or he says no. He denies. We're going to get to this, and this is where like, a lot of grammar comes together. So here's what we have. The word he denies, right here, or he says no, if it was all by itself, but that's all we said, you could say that if they said, hey, Ad, they asked him, can we go across? And all you said with the saw the was word negat, it would mean he says no. But we also allow for the translation he denies, because it could be used as a word like he says. He denies, he says. What do we get after that? I want to try to do it. I put the double lines here. Put double lines here. We're going to have several clauses right in a row. The first is an indirect statement. How do we know it's an indirect statement? Right after the verb of saying, thinking, or feeling, negat is the speaking verb. You've got an accusative subject, and you have an infinitive. We actually have two here. Infinitive, infinitive. And you have no indicative verbs. And that's, whenever you have after a verb of speaking, you have an infinitive, you can usually assume you have an indirect statement. So, how do we do that? He denies, and the word that we imply is that because they don't have a word there for it. The Greeks did, the Romans didn't. He ain't denies that. Well, the say is reflexive. Got to go back to the T. That who, that he himself. Now, I'm going to put the himself in parentheses because we would not necessarily say it. That he, and now watch what happens. The basic line is going to be post se diary that he is able to give. But there's these words before that are very interesting. Watch the cases. These are ablative. Remember uh, the third declension? Something is E-M-A. Well, there's your ablative right there. And it's right there. And then, of course, we know usio um o. Well, the words with ablatives are by, with, or from. So we're going to use by. That he himself. By the what? More et exemplo. Well, more we have in our vocab. Um, not this week, but in a prior work week we had this word. Mos. Morris. It was a word for a custom. And the more then would be by the custom. 
by the custom at and and then you can guess what example is example in the example example of what we'd always say that right well you get two genitives right here of the populi romani of the roman people of the roman people that by the custom and the example of the Roman people, now we put our words together. Pose dare. He is able to give. Well, what is he what is he denying that he's able to give? An iter per poinquim, a root or the you know a passage through the province. And it's dative right here. Passage to anyone through the Roman province. So he's not able to give a root, and we'd assume it's passage, only to anyone per proinquium through, and if you look at it, proinquium by itself, the province. Well, right there, they know that he's been messing with them. It's not like Caesar just found out the custom or the example of the Roman people. He was pulling their chain. He delayed them a few days so that when the, by the time they came back, he could have his army set up. And that's where the next line comes in. Because right now they know that it was a scam. And now he drops the bomb on him. At and. And remember what we have, every clause that has a C in it. C means if. And it goes with the subjunctive verb. Incontur was our subjunctive verb. So this is going to be, do you remember the kind of clause? If or then, if this, then that kind of clause? This is a conditional clause. And if this happens, he's going to do the last thing. If what? If connoisseur, they try, or they might try, facere, to make. And whim is not in this vocab list, but you may remember it was weis, Weese. But if you remember, it was weese, weese, we, win, we. It was your force or your strength or your power. In this case, we use force. So, and if they kind of tear, try, carry, to make, whim, force. And if they try to make force. And we would say, like, like a, you know, we would imply like a force flash. But the idea is we would say, if they try to do it by force, but in this case, but if they try to make force, and you understand what the Roman's trying to say there, what does he do? He ascends. That's our last verb. He shows. He shows. What does he show? Ooh. Another verb of saying, thinking, or feeling. What do we have again? Another indirect statement. You go, well, Mr. Anderson, I don't see an infinitive here. Well, you, they never put essay in when it's implied. He shows, and watch how cool this grammar gets. Once again, like just like we had say... Here, now we have say here. If we translate it the first time, that he himself, by the custom of the people of, in example of the Roman people, that he himself, well, we can say, copy that, he shows. He 
shows that he himself, have it again, right? He himself. Now, it's not that he's able, that he essay. See the UR right there? Remember our participles? Which one had UR? Thought of the big participle chart. We have active, we have passive, we have present, we have perfect, we have future. Which one had UR in it? Right here. There's the fourth principal part, prohibit, or UR, and then an ending. That is a future active participle, right? So we'll label it. And how is it translated? Remember how we did those? Going to be or about to be blank. Not blank, but doing it. He's going to do this. Oh, excuse me, not be. He's going to do these things. Going to or about to. So what's he going to do? He's about to or he's going to prohibit Eos. Who? Here's your accusative them. And he shows how powerful this is. He shows that he himself is going, the essays he is, is going to prohibit them. There's a translation. Now, make sure you get that part copied. And we'll talk a little bit about you can pause the video and then start it up. We'll talk a little bit about what just happened? Remember, he spent the days when they were gone building an earthworks, a murm and a fossa, 16 miles across the area up to the Ural Mountains. They just came across. They knew something was going on, but they didn't know what. When they get there, he says, look, I can't allow you through. And then, and look at how the translation reads. And if they try to make force, he literally goes, he shows them. He shows that he himself is going to prohibit him. How do you think he showed him? He took, probably took the ambassadors outside and said, look at what I got. There's no way you're getting through. Pretty cool. So, what do we have? We have all the verbs done. We have all the translation done. Make sure you have it all written down. And now let's do the grammar. And there's a lot. So get ready. So as was in the past, I'm going to erase, I'm going to take this part out. Um, we have the possibility of building a grammar cheat sheet. And you remember how we do this? I'm going to go a list of grammar here. We go nominative, genitive, dative, accusative, ablative. Um, you could have evocative. If we run into one, we'll put it in. Um, I'm going to make those just a little bigger. Okay. And then I'm going to put a line in over here. I'm going to put in participles. I'm going to put in clauses. Okay. And we'll add anything else we have to. Go to the top. Meanwhile, from Lake Mono, which flows into the Rhone River, to the Ur Mountain, which divides the borders of the Sequani from the Helvetii. So here's what I want to do. Both Kui's there. Both times you have the qui, they introduce relative clauses. In fact, every time you have a relative pronoun, it'll be a relative clause. Let's see if there's any other words that show up. Um, I'm looking in this line. 
Do I have any, any other qui qui quotes in this passage? You take a look, and you don't see any. That's awesome. So two times, line two, line four. Let's talk about cases. Uh, the first time I want to look at is line four. Who, um, so remember, Mima from Lake Amanus, which flows into the, the Rhone River, to the Ur Mountain, referring back to the mountain, which divides the borders of the Sequani from the Helvetia. Here's the important thing for cases. Both of those witches, we're saying witch even though they're masculine, are nominative. Qui. Here's the next thing. Um, it divides the borders. Borders can be nominative or accusative when we decline it. In this case, it's accusative because it's a direct object. Accusative and sequorum of the sequani genitive. So let's put that in. Into our grammar. Finis. Sequan. Is it two ends? I never can remember. One. Thanks. Of the sequani. Go back up. Um, he produces a wall in a trench. One thousand or nineteen thousand paces or nineteen miles in height. Um, excuse me, and in height sixteen feet. Um, really, the only important things here is Merm and Fossum are the direct objects. Therefore, both of those are accusative. So I'll put them in accusatives. Now you say, Mr. Harrison, why don't you put the, the uh, quay at the end? Because that's the end. So Miriam and Fossum are the direct objects. We finally have a, another special clause. On... Me eo apera perfecta. Remember that? It was an ablative absolute. With the work having been completed, perfected. Come down here. Eo. Oh, yeah, let me show you the reading. Opere. Perfecto. That's an ablative absolute. With this having been added, right? Let's go back up. He places uh, garrison. Let's go back to our translation. With the work having been perfected. He positions garrisons. He fortifies the fortresses. Um, I'm not going to hit you with every accusative there. We're just going to keep it pretty simple here. Let's go to the next clause. Udi. Udi equals ut, and that to post it. So that he might be able to do it. Well, would that be purpose or result? If you guess purpose, you're right. Why did he do it? It answers why. So it's a purpose clause. So, Udi Pasit Purpose clause. Excellent. Go back up. The very, we have a parsable. He was able to prohibit those trying. Ooh. Canantes. Present parsable, trying. Present active participle. Those trying to do something, right? Um. 
Next, we have a clause, ubi. Well, we already labeled it. Ubi introduces a temporal clause. When the day which he had established. Ooh, we found another one of those relative pronouns. I missed it. So let's move this down. Quam. The day which. In this case, quam's accusative. When the day came, ubi is our temporal clause. Um, so what verb did it go to? When the day came, wane it over here. When the day came, wane it. That's temporal. You can see what's gonna happen here. You got a lot of clauses. Um, when the day came, which uh, he had established with the legates, and the legates returned to him, now we have our three clauses right in a row. So let's get them. Can I make myself a little room here? So right now, we have relative clauses. We have an ambivalent absolute. We have a purpose clause. We got a temporal clause. Now we have three right in a row that we're going to add. And what were they at the bottom? Remember? Nagat to dare is an indirect statement. He denies that he himself is able to give. Indirect statement. The next one. And if they try, see the contour is a conditional clause. And then we ended with another indirect statement. Say to extend it. Now, in this case, it's reversed. The verbs last. He showed that say he himself is able, <coughs> or excuse me, uh, is going to permit, uh, prohibit them. Now, there are only a couple more things I wanted to add in this. Excuse me. One, in those last three clauses, more and exemplo are ablatives. By the custom in the example. The next thing is that he was going to prohibit them. And we just said that prohibitorum is a future active participle. a lot, huh? Still not done with you. One last word I want to put in. Uli. To anyone. Remember, he's not able to give a root to anyone. So let's put that in. Uli. So, let's talk about your test. I will ask you to fill in the blanks on the translation. Got it? Boom. Second thing I'll do, I will give you like five verbs. You better have this right. Fill it in based on your notes. Next, 
I will ask you to give me the uh, match words with cases. I'll have five words, five cases. That should be easy. I'll have you match participles, and I'll have you match clauses. Now, what I might do on this is have you do, um, uh, so it's a little easier. It's hard. I know it's hard to do, um, I mean, maybe you can give me some feedback. Um, can we do this on um, Schoology and you still be able to access your notes? Um, get back to me today on that answer. And if that's the case, I'll do the whole thing on Schoology um, as a Schoology test. If not, I'll have a fill-in-the-blank handout version of it for you. Okay? Uh, you guys get back to me. You get all your notes. You finish all these notes today, you submit them, and you start to study them, start to review them. Friday, I'm getting, I'm testing you on all of this. All right? Thanks so much, guys. Give me your feedback on whether or not you can access these notes on a Schoology test. I know in class I wouldn't allow you to do it, but could you do it if, you, uh, if you're doing it at home? Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day.